Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to Divine Timing Tarot here at Inyo Element TV. Today, I'm going to be using the deck of Chris Ann, the Light Seers Tarot. As you can see, one of my, my favorites. It's a beautiful deck and um, it is a pleasure that I have it here to use. Today, we're going to be talking about how to claim your power and in your career. So we're going to see what the cards have for you. Just a reminder that the cards don't tell you what to do, they just give you a reading of the energies that are available at the moment so you can make empowered decisions if you choose to use their advice. So without further ado, remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can go, go through these times together. I am going to take the first card, so I'm going to shuffle. Let's see what the first card has for you in terms of career and how you can claim back your power if you're feeling disempowered. That's an area that is a bit weak for you. Wow, amazing. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles brings you mastery in your craft. So make sure that everything that you do, that you acknowledge it yourself. Don't wait for other people or for external forces to tell you that you've done a good job or that uh, everything that you're doing, you, you've got good skills. No, recognize it within yourself and recognize it in yourself as you would recognize to in any other person. So be your own cheerleader because you are mastering and you are becoming an expert in your field. So this is the card that opens with a beautiful message. So if you're not paying attention or valuing yourself enough in what you're doing, see yourself in the mirror and have that conversation with yourself. So let me shuffle and get the second card and let's see what the energies are. Second card is, ooh, the devil's card. Okay, watch out for those very negative thoughts because as you can see in this card, the devil, the person here, which is representing the devil, is actually controlling your mind. As you can see, the manipulation of the mind. But I can see here the seven of pentacles showing like hidden in the in the um, in the deck, which is actually the card that complements the first card. So keep working on yourself. Keep working, keep doing what you're doing, because these are only negative thoughts that might be from your beliefs that have been acquired through your family, your um, you know, the collective. Um, you know, your own disempowered or uh, low self-esteem. So remember that to recognize your skills and your abilities comes from within. So once you start doing it to yourself and recognizing it to yourself, then the external, the people outside will do the same. So watch out and watch out also for anyone who's manipulating your mind, who's putting negative thoughts in you. So any criticism, or any negative conversations, just block them, turn your way and um, look at yourself in the mirror and remind yourself how wonderful you are and how much capable you are of doing things that are within your skill. So there we go. That is one thing. So let's go for the third card. What's the third, not less? Yes, definitely change perspective. So the hangman here is asking you to change perspective. Why? Because in this card, if you notice, by turning upside down, the light is actually here. So sometimes our perspective is in one way, but sometimes we need to flip it, flip and actually see the other side of the coin because sometimes it shines brighter on the other side. So when you apply this card to your decision making uh, based on the previous card, which is a negative thought or uh, people telling you negative things or criticizing, but when actually you are mastering your craft and you, are, you have very beautiful skills. So if you change perspective, you are able to be in control of your own life. You are able to master even more your, your skills, your career, and to achieve more because now you become much more confident. You become much more, um, how do you say, assertive, which is what you need because to be honest, in life, if you don't know who you are and what you're doing, 
we just leave the, the door open for people to tell you um, who you are. And right here, right now, this Divine Timing Tarot reading is about how to claim your power in Korea. So I hope that has helped and it resonates with you. If it does, please leave a comment in our notes box. And also, um, if you have any conscious ideas or any um, suggestions, subjects that you would like to know, uh, you would like Divine Timing Tarot to deliver the energies for you, please let us know. Give us your feedback. And remember also to uh, follow us at any of our social media platforms. But in the meantime, uh, I wish you all the best and I see you in the vortex. Goodbye.